In this video, we're going to be continuing our conversation on the metal cutoff saw or the metal chop saw, and we're going to talk about personal protective equipment that you need to wear to use this, and we're also going to talk about a quick inspection that you need to do with this machine every time you use it to make sure that it is safe. So first thing, the protective equipment that you need to wear, uh, firstly, is safety glasses, and you also need to incorporate a face shield on top. The reason that you need to have both layers of protection is because there's going to be times where you lift up your shield to talk to somebody or there's times where you take off your face shield to put it away and in this shop you still need to have your primary uh, eye protection on at all times. So you are going to double these up. There's a lot of sparks that are generated here and there's a chance of things breaking and flying so that is why we are wearing this face shield. It's also the same reason why we're wearing this leather apron. This cowhide leather apron is there to protect us in the event that a piece of metal breaks, comes loose, or um, this abrasive wheel shatters by using it improperly. And if that was to happen, we want to protect our vital organs and we want to protect our upper legs from uh, being punctured uh, because those areas of our bodies can result in, in severe injury, even death. We also are going to protect ourselves with hearing protection. This machine is incredibly loud. Not only do we wear them, but we let everyone in the area know that we're about to use the saw. You can just shout out and say, making a loud cut here, using the chop saw, something to let them know. Um, get their attention and uh, you can also be a good Samaritan and uh, hand out uh, some hearing protection to the people who are near you or ask them to move. So hearing protection is mandatory. Uh, you want to have some pliers handy because when you make your cut, these pieces of metal are going to be very hot and they can burn you quite badly. So you have some pliers handy so that you can pick up your hot pieces of metal safely. Lastly, you're going to have a respirator if you are working on this machine for any extended period of time. So if you're making a couple cuts, not a big deal. But if you are working at this machine for anything more than three minutes worth of cutting, you're going to wear a respirator that the teacher can provide to you. Um, you just have to ask and that's because there's a lot of metal dust that's generated when you use this machine for an extended period of time. Those are all the things that you need to be wearing to consider yourself protected. Uh, and then also um, we're going to take a look at this machine and how to check it quickly to ensure that it's safe. First thing we'll check is the cord. Make sure that the cord, like all electric cords, is in good condition. No cracks, uh, no frayed wires and that the plug end is uh, firmly attached. And also make sure that before you start that this is unplugged. This cable needs to be unplugged and needs to remain right in your sight. So I hang it like so, so that I can see that plug. Uh, that way I have it under my control and somebody doesn't come along and plug it in on me. Uh, next, you want to take a look and make sure that this blade is safe to use. You have no control over what other people do uh, with this machine. You have no control whether somebody at lunch or somebody in uh, a previous block used it improperly. So we're going to inspect it before we use it. I take a look at this wheel and I spin it uh, and it's safe to touch this as long as it's unplugged. And I look for any cracks in the wheel or any uh, big chunks missing. And on the end, I look to see if there's anything that resembles a uh, bright, shiny sort of metal stuck on the end of that. That could be soft metals that are dangerous to have stuck on the blade. So if I take a good look at that and it looks safe, it doesn't see, I don't see any cracks or ch big chunks missing. Um, I may want to also check to see if the blade is secured. There's a blade lock on here. And if I spin this blade while pushing the lock, eventually the lock will engage. There it is. And I should be able to grab this blade and give it a wiggle and it doesn't slip or slide anywhere. If this was not tightened on properly, this blade could actually spin loose. So I, that's a, a quick check to see that this blade is not going to come undone. It's been tightened. Um, you want to make sure that you have this stand readily available. If you're cutting long material, you want that stand set up so that it's positioned to the same height as this, as this table. You can put your stock across here and lean it on here. And this is also easily adjustable for a variety of heights. Set that up before beginning your cut so that uh, everything is sitting nice and flat set up here. Um, that's, that's pretty much it for checking the machine itself to make sure that it looks good and safe to use. In the next videos that we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to talk about how to safely mount your material in here so that it's safe to cut.